Hey guys, Omni here. We're about to dive into the mid-season finale of Better Call Saul's final season. Uh, we'll be returning in July for the final six episodes. Uh, but for now, man, things are escalating with everything coming together for D-Day, for uh, Kim and Jimmy's plans to bring down Howard uh, as a little bit of a hiccup came to their attention and their entire plan as the person they were going to be impersonating as part of this whole little like scheme. It turns out a little detail that they didn't foresee him having broken his arm means that their body double doesn't match up. Jimmy opting to try to shut down the plans, re uh, recoup, and then just try to reschedule, do it again another time. Kim wasn't having any of it. She sacrificed some of her dreams, her ambitions, her career, her passion for the law all over this vendetta, this just this this like <laughs> vitriol that they have for Howard. Leaves that all behind, turns around, returns to Albuquerque to make sure that this happens today. All meanwhile, Lalo is sniffed down Gus's trail over in Germany, the construction crew. And uh, for all we know, he has the information he needs at this point to come after Gus. But Gus has already been preparing in his own ways. With that all down the way, guys, we're going to jump into this. So if you're part of the 62% of people that watch the channel, you're not yet subscribed, or maybe you're tuning in for the very first time here today, I'd really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, maybe you subscribe, leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. I really would. But if you want to see the full-length reaction of this episode and watch along format, you can check that out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access to that as well. Along with that, you also get the same tier for all the other reactions that we cover here on the channel as well as a bunch of exclusive movie reactions that we put up over there where you guys actually get to help choose what we add to the list every month. Along with that, we have monthly Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage to try to make it worth your while since you guys are going out of your way to support the channel. And I'm always open to suggestions for more options we can bring to you guys. But, of course, I know I can do that. A simple way you can help us out is just a liking, comment, subscribing, sharing these videos, and helping us with that YouTube algorithm. That all sitting down the way, guys. Let's hop into <laughs> this episode. Man, I'm really... <laughs> this show does a really good job at just keeping me on edge. And I'm so... The fuck? Nervous about how all of this is going to come together and go down. Whoa, wait. Where are we? That looks like Lalo's silhouette. Yep. You're not back already, are you? New Mexico plate. Wow, he's already back in New Mexico. Oh, <laughs> God damn it, man. Oh. Keeping watch on something. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, okay. Listen to me. I'm a philosopher. Joe, you must do this. You must, must, must love. That's try. Get in. We need to reshoot. Oh, okay. I was like, I couldn't. Seize the day. Carpe diem. Don't live with regret. Let nothing stand in your way. Here's the spirit that takes me. Nice. I didn't recognize the guy like the whole time. I was like, who is this? Oh, no. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> Good job. My fee's 500. 500? What? We did the same job last week for 100. Do you think this is the same? Feel free to go find someone else. What? No, 500. Fine. <laughs> Gosh, man. I used a foundation that's a little closer to the skin tone, and I found a skin Oh, was she LARPing? So, gunky, so it makes the mustache look more. In the middle of this? Did you wander too far from the Shire? We're in rehearsals. It's a live action musical tribute to the Dark. Aww. Uh, uh, Can I have your uh, left, left arm? arm? Of course. What? Yeah. Your character has a broken arm now. Not oh. here. Not here. The plot thickens. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. No, guys, we can't see it. You have to turn so you can see it. You have to. No. Turn so you can see it. no the what? What? 
is she? What is she? She's the director. Action again! Nice. As long as there's an image, it doesn't have to be perfect. Can't rush the process. <laughs> Artists, am I right? This is uh, insane levels of dedication to bring down Howard, man. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. Okay, I was like shit. I was like that would have been shitty as fuck. Like a physical reaction there. I mean, I've been on like car crashes quite a few times, so like I get a little like antsy about some of that shit, man. Oh, on top of that, I was like, "Oh no, this all this and he just wrecks and it, it's stuck right there. That would suck." Something about the centrifugal force pulls the bubbles from the inside of the can, stops it from exploding. Don't want our clients to get a surprise, now do we? Is that real? Am I going to have to myth bust this? <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Just that there's been a development. Said you'd know what he means. Ah. What am I looking at? Took those about seven this morning. Is it a contact? The, bench in Park. Then the, the gloves. By and collected it's a going package for me. Mm. I thought they were going to drug his coffee. Did they drug the paper? The photos? Wait, fuck. Hold up. Wasn't he the guy in the car? Oh my god, this goes deep. Oh my god. This goes so it's deep. His own PI is part of this. What can you do to find this man? I know it drives a silver Miata and I got a partial plate. Not perfect, but enough. It'll take some extra man hours, and I might have to grease some wheels over at MVD. Do it. Whatever needs to be done. I know some other people have, like, completely figured out this plan, but I am still beyond lost on most of it. <laughs> I won't even pretend to follow every bit of it right now. You're going to meet Mr. Schweikert and his associates, and it's all going to be very polite and professional. An independent mediator is going to keep things that way. Yeah, very nice retired judge out of Santa Fe, Judge Casimiro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the guy in the pictures. All the parties are here, and Aaron has the out-of-state reps dialed in on the polycom. Fantastic. And Judge Casimiro? In the waiting area, ready to come in once we're all assembled. Wait a minute. He just touched her too, right? Let's get you down there in style. I'm so concerned with this because is that the stuff that they were testing on Jimmy back at the vet? Now, is there anything else to make you comfortable? Are you hot? No, I'm very comfortable. Anybody else hot? Yeah, he's starting to feel it. As long as it it's not like he can't transmit it from the oil on his fingers to her. Because <laughs> that would be messed up if something happened to her at the expense of Howard. It is so nice to meet all of you. There are so many people. I think it's time to invite in the mediator. Right away. Uh, hang tight, everyone. Now that all the parties are here. All right, here we go. Miss Valco and Provo, are you still on the line? Can you unmute and let us know? Yes, I'm here, Miss Grill. <laughs> is there anything I can get you? No, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you, I am me. <laughs> God damn it, man. Uh, I'm so torn because I'm so used to rooting for Jimmy and Kim, but right now I'm just like, I it's, I just feel so bad for Howard right now. I know he hasn't been the best of people, but I, I just don't, I don't know. I feel like this is just a little much. Let us move forward with the... Uh-oh. <laughs> Our mediator here keeps God. using the word compromise. When he, in fact, is compromised. I beg your pardon? I think you heard me. Oh, no. I had a private investigator following Jimmy McGill. You were photographed receiving what I estimate to be a $20,000 payoff this morning in the park. <clears throat> this is nuts. They swap them out. 
Oh my, they swapped them out. No, man, they're making him look insane. Is that supposed to be me? I, uh... Oh my lord. These are not the pictures I saw. Mr. Hamlin, are you all right? Your eyes... I am fine. Oh no. Nobody move. Evidence has been tampered with. Now, Howard, please. Is this how they usually go? <laughs> P.I. He has the negatives. Listen to me. No, no, no. The original photos will prove everything. Howard, just wait. You'll see. Number's been disconnected. All right, I'm gonna figure out what the hell is happening. This is making me feel terrible. That stands till end of day. And tomorrow we reduce it by a million, and then another million the day after that. Our best to Howard. And they blew this whole thing up. They wanted to update their contact info. So, of course, she changed the number in the system, but it turns out it wasn't them. That was Jimmy. So when I needed an investigator to follow Jimmy... No. It sucks, too, because he he's right, just like Chuck, but it just makes him sound off his rocker, man. This is Clifford Main, lead counsel speaking, and I'm here with some good news. An offer has been made and accepted oh, man, they're... Irene Landry, which is going to make all of you, I believe... <laughs> Hey, I, I can't blame them. Victory, just, they're doing their own little victory dance over there. I love Lalo. <laughs> I don't know if I love Lalo as much as I love, like, Tony, Tony Dalton, but still. Who knows? It's tapped. Oh no. Okay. I was like, he's not gonna go in or prematurely because he got worked up or not. Yeah, sorry, I think um, I lost connection. I'm trying to reach Hector Salamanca. Yes, sorry about that. Let's try that again. Hold on. You have to stare again. Oh, he's gonna. He knows now, so he's gonna choose his words differently. He knows they're listening, so he's tell he's telling him prepare for something. <sighs> and he's gonna do it now, right? He's got to throw him off somehow. He knows they would have heard that, so he's gotta use that as the bait and the distraction. Yep, they're locking down. What's your play, man? What's your play? Lalo's smart, man. Smart, scary, and handsome. <sighs> we'll be hidden, but we'll be on you every step of the He's way. Gonna... I pulled guys off all the low-priority targets to cover you. The laundry. Tyrus is there with his crew. He's gonna go to the laundry instead. Lead him down there where he placed the gun. <sighs> you know, we don't have to get it. I bet it's Howard. We should probably get this over with. No, get it. Just in case. Or worse, Lalo for some reason. <clears throat> oh shit! Can I come in? Yep. Yep. Shit. Oh, okay. Never mind. That flicker of the candle. I was like, oh god, it is Lalo. The sh the fucking look on Jimmy's face scared the shit out of me. What allows you to do this to me? Because this isn't just a prank. This goes beyond throwing bowling balls on my car. This took planning. I mean, how many weeks? Or was it months? This is like crushing. Why go through this elaborate plot just to burn me to the ground? I've worked my way through worse. Debt. Depression. My marriage falling apart. Oh, yeah. Been sleeping in the guest house for the better part of a year. Uh, just one more thing that old Howard has to work through. Screw the money. You did it for fun. You get off on it. You're, you're like Leopold and Loeb, two sociopaths. All right, that's enough. <sighs> Great, now you need to go. I'm going to make it clear to everyone because I'm going to dedicate my life to making sure that everybody knows the truth. Believe it. What is up with the candle? Oh, shit. Howard. 
Howard, you need to leave. Who are you? Me? <laughs> I just need to talk to my lawyers. What's this about? I, uh, I think I'm in the middle of something. Uh, there's really no need to. No! No! Oh my God! No! No! <laughs> That was fucking terrifying. Ah. <laughs> Damn it, man. I hate that shit so much. Jesse's second girlfriend got popped off just so nonchalantly. That shit terrifies me, and it's just so cruel and just disgusting. And it just fits in with Lalo's character. But still, man, I just... <sighs> I'm like sh shaking at the moment. Well. You know, I had said him and Kim. Something's gotta happen. I just didn't, I, I, I didn't know how or if or what the, the candle, they got me the first time I was like, oh, it's Howard. Whew. That was very dramatic for Howard to show up and they did it again. And there he was the specter of death. What's, what does he need them for in this whole thing? Is it because he knows that Jimmy knows Mike? Because he's helped Mike in the past. He's been Mike's lawyer in the past. Up until this point. Fuck, dude. I feel so bad for Howard, man. Especially after all that, like him venting all of this. It was just building and building and building and Especially all the things I'm sure they had no idea was going on in his life like that. His depression, the marriage, and all that stuff. And like they they have put him up on this pedestal as this this martyr of, of everything they feel is wrong with the law. On top of just their own personal satisfaction that they get out of just scamming people. So it's all of that combined. And then they just don't really see... That Howard, on, at the end of the day, is a human being. And, man, they... Fuck, man. I just keep flashing back to the, the muzzle flash. And it's just, like, disrupting my thoughts. And just the cockeyed position of his jaw when he hit the ground, too. It was just so... cruel. And it had nothing to do with what had happened. That was just wrong place, wrong time for Lalo to come back into the whole picture. Like, there's no way... That falls on either of them, really, except for, you know, if you go back to Jimmy's ties to everything before. Also, I'm pretty sure Lalo knows that it was Mike that, he, that Jimmy was out in the desert with, too, if I'm thinking back to it. So that's another reason he probably came back to Jimmy. Because his whole spiel about the car and the money and all of that didn't add up all that much to him as well when they were talking about that, because he was questioning before about all of that. <sighs> Fuck, man. They did it, though. 
they tore him down. They humiliated him. Everything went according to plan. Until that. Now, had they never done any of that, he wouldn't have had a reason to come to the apartment to congratulate them, to give them this whole little victory lap. He wouldn't have been there when Lalo showed up. Who knows what would have happened then. And Lalo obviously couldn't have just let him walk away having seen him, even if he doesn't recognize or know who he is. Howard being Howard, that's a liability. So they were trapped in a no-win situ situation there. Cinematography, writing, pacing, acting, everything in this episode. Chef's kiss from everybody, man. Fuck, dude. After this, like I, 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 I bet Kim doesn't make it out of this. I'll, I will be shocked if she survives this at all. They did to Howard exactly what they did to Chuck, except uh, Chuck ended up taking himself out of the picture. Howard was just pushing through it, and he's just confused. He was he was like, he didn't understand it, man. It just makes him feel even worse for him. I don't know. I'm, I'm just like all over the place at the moment, man. <sighs> Gus and Mike and them are all kind of, they're preparing for attack where they don't really know where it's coming from, and it's going to allow Lalo to really kind of shake things up. Obviously, we know nothing's going to happen to Gus's operation, but... He's a force of nature, man. I'm struggling to find something to talk about. Or just to kind of gather words. I feel like I'm just rambling. I don't even know if I'm saying anything right now. I almost like... I didn't almost throw up, but I almost like, I could feel my stomach just twisting when Howard got shot. And that whole situation, that whole scene, they executed that beautifully. From the framing, the staging, the whole candle thing, the lighting, the mood, the tone, obviously. The performances in that moment, spectacular. <sighs> well, fuck. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I'm kind of stumped at the moment. And I, I hate not having a lot to talk about during these things because I want to add the conversation. I want to like, but I, I just, I, I can't, I can't get out of that room <laughs> with Howard, man. I didn't realize the, 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 the PI was in on it. I'll be honest, like when the guy pulled up in the car, I didn't really recognize him until the second time when he was in Howard's office and we focused in on him. And it's just like he said, they've been like we've been seeing, we've seen them planning it for months, weeks. And it's just like I said, the whole thing's so obsessive. And I get it. He's like, I, why? Why? He needs to know why. And now. It doesn't matter why. What's the story here going to be? What's the what's the public going to like? What's the story that's going to go out about what happened to Howard? Is he just going to go missing? Is he just going to is HHM just going to crumble because there's no one there anymore? He just disappear? Is he just going to be missing? Is he going to be a missing persons? Oh, fuck, man. Howard Howard didn't deserve what they did to him. Howard didn't deserve that. 
and this is really all on them, um, whether it be directly or indi indirectly. I don't know. I'm all over the place right now. The Nacho thing, that tore me up. The Howard thing is tearing me up. And I don't know if we go, we got. <sighs> Executions like that, they just fucking. Not even like, an, I wouldn't even call it an execution because it was just like in the spur of the moment. Hits you like nothing. Especially when it's unexpected to the person on the other side. It's one thing if they're like, they know they're about to get killed or they know that their time is up or something like that. It's just that. That uncertainty, that swift, full turning of fate. You know, like when, oh, I can't remember her name right now, Jesse's girlfriend, when, you know, he was trapped by those one people and they took him out there to make an example of him uh, with Brock and her. And, you know, the moment she turned around to go back inside, the moment her turned around, nothing, saw nothing. That shit, it just, it unsettles me. To my core. That episode lingered on me, man. When she got killed. Man, that's three deaths now in this show that's just like her, it hits. And twists. The Nacho thing, like he went off he while he was in a he was in a situation that was outside of his control. He took control in how he went out. So there was a little bit of a twist in victory in the way that that had happened because he really got to stick it to the Salamancas in that moment while also not going along with Gus's plan to a T, even though he didn't sell out Gus at all because he needs to protect his family. But it, he took it into his own hands. There was, there was this, this conflicting nature of, like, sadness and a little bit of triumph that was in there in it in a in some fashion like it was still depressing it was still sad i still didn't want it to happen but there was something about him doing it himself and him using this moment to really kind of ventilate to just the failures of the salamancas in that situation and take ownership for putting Hector in that chair and all that stuff. It it was there was a empowering moment behind that. Howard though and the other, it's just <sighs> swift, unfortunate winds of fate. Anyway, guys, I don't really know if I'm even saying anything relevant right now. I don't know if I'm making any sense. So we'll we might re we'll revisit this when we come back after the midseason uh, return, when we come back for the back half of the show. So guys, what would you think of this episode? What are your thoughts, your feelings? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join us in our Discord. We can talk about it there as well. Links to that and all my socials down below. If you want to see the full-length reaction to this, it's on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. And yeah, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherr, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yuri, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Melita, and Robert Anguiano. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. That's been our mid-season finale for Better Call Saul, and I'll see you all when we return for the final six episodes of the series. Take care, everybody.